Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the new Controlnet Union version 2.1 released by Alibaba Pi team for the Z Image Turbo model, which allows you to generate a new image based on an input image while preserving the composition and some details of the original image. This technique is very useful for image to image generation or if you want to modify an image without losing the original image identity. So in this tutorial, I will try to test out this new version of ControlNet, compare it with the old one in terms of image quality, image consistency, and model flexibility by varying the ControlNet string and the key simpler steps too, to see which one performs the best. In addition to that, this new ControlNet has a new feature that allows you to do in-painting using a mask. So without further ado, let's dive into a tutorial. Okay, if you head over to the Alibaba Pi Hugging Face swap page, you can clearly see uh, some information about this control net model. This is a new control net with 6 bulk added. The model was trained on 10,000 steps on a data set of 1 million high quality images using a B-Float 16 precision. It also supports multiple control net conditions or preprocessors like the Kani, the Depth, the Pose, the MLSD can work uh, pretty well with this control net preprocessors. All those preprocessors allows you to to change the original image while creating for example a depth map or a headlines or soft lines uh, using this uh, preprocessor and that is the main uh, purpose of uh, those control nets so based on those uh, created image you will be uh, able to generate a new type of images another feature is that you can adjust the control net uh, strength uh, which was not the case for the V1 since the, at the low control net strings the composition fall apart and the consistency is loose however with this new version you can try to decrease the strength even at this low value so we will also try to do that and see if it is true and if you scroll down a little bit you can see that uh, they posted some results of the pose first we have the pose here we have uh, the original pose th that was created using a preprocessor control net and here we have the origin of the final results. Another uh, results of the pose here. We have the canny ahead. It is uh, practically similar to the canny. And the depth results. All those information was for the first control net. However, with this new release, we have other uh, updates like this control layer here, this control noise refiner in order to get a better results. They also added the 15 layer blocks to refine better the results, will achieve better quality at the end. They also changed the training steps, they increased to 70,000, over 1 million high quality images, which is very good and very impressive. The, the models still support the multiple control net preprocessors. They also fix strings value of the control net that, that affect directly the quality of the final image. Here you can also observe some uh, results that uh, was provided by this uh, Alibaba team. And you can first see the in-painting technique that was uh, very good for uh, changing the lady uh, dress. It also works with the open pose preprocessors, which is very good. And all other results are practically the same that we saw earlier. If you go back to file and the model, you can clearly see that we have the 2.1 and the 2.0. So I strongly suggest you to work with the latest version, since it also has a, a better improvement compared to the 2.0. Once it is done, once it is downloaded, go to ComfyUI root folder, enter model, and here search for model patches. Click OK and make sure to paste all the control net union here. As you can see, I have the 2.0, the 2.1, and the ControlNet uh, version 1 union. If you don't found this uh, folder, make sure to create it yourself and paste your models here. Okay, now let's open up the workflow. As for all the other models, we have the Z Turbo model. If you don't know how to install them, you can uh, watch my previous tutorial. But before going any further, make sure to go to ComfyUI Manager and update ComfyUI by clicking on this button. Once it is done, it will uh, update uh, everything for you in order uh, to use a special node for this control net named Z Image Fun Control Net. If you can't uh, see these nodes uh, appearing, make sure to go to your ComfyUI root folder. Then go to Update, and from here you can uh, run this update ComfyUI. It will make sure that the update will, will be done uh, successfully. Okay, once it is done, go back to the workflow again, and we are good to go. Okay, for this tutorial, I prepared two workflows. The first one is for the control net normal or classical options, and the second one is for in painting. So we will start with the first one. Here we have a different main group as always. 
and in order to compare between the version 1 and version 2 I add dub to samplers as you can see here we have the control net union v1 that uses directly the model 1 as you can see here and the second sampler will use directly the second uh, version of this uh, control net so the first step is gonna load your model I am using the BF16 version of ZMS Turbo with the FPA you can also use the GGUF uh, version but I will not use it this time okay for the load clip we have to load all our models the same goes for the VAE and here make sure to select the right version for the control net here we have the V1 and the second nodes we have the V2 next make sure to select uh, your image for example uh, I can choose this uh, image of, uh, of this lady and what the workflow is gonna do is uh, first try to image to upscale to one megapixel in order to have good consistency and good results then this uh, node here is gonna take into consideration the height and the width of this image in order to set it as a latent using this empty sd3 latent image nodes the next step is gonna be selecting our control net preprocessors if for example i want to do some style changing or create a new image based on this first remus reference image all i have to do is using the depth anything or the canny as you can see i am switching between the nodes by simply clicking Control and b for example if i want to use the depth anything I will make sure to, to select it by clicking Control and V. Then it's gonna directly take into consideration this image in order to create a depth map that you can preview it here and set it as Control image. The next thing is the prompting, of course. And we have this input image here. The CoinVL node is gonna be very helpful at creating a prompt. So I am using the 2 billion instruct model. Quantization is set to 4 bits since I have a low VRAM. The attention mode uh, leave it as auto and the present prompt is set to detailed description you can also try to set this control after generate to fix and using the style selector we can manage to create a different type of image using this control net features for example here i select the anim and what it's gonna do is creating a prompt based on this first image then add some anim keywords in order to obtain this uh, anim results now let's jump to the key sampler and as you can see previously we are using a coin uh, notes in order to use the control net however with the latest update we have this z image fun control net notes that works uh, pretty well with this uh, model here we have the model uh, plug the model patch the vae the image the inbaint image uh, plug and the mask or we also have the strength here by added load here in order to control uh, both strengths at uh, using uh, this only node so first we need the model uh, which is the z image turbo here then the model patch is gonna be for example this one is gonna use directly the control net version one that we selected here as for the second one is gonna use the version 2.1 the VAE is gonna also be needed and as for the image is gonna directly need the image provided by the control net preprocessors that we set here for example uh, on this example I am using the depth anything so it will uh, be directly plugged here on this Z image uh, nodes as for the impaint image and the mask we will see that on the second workflow the key sampler parameters are uh, practically the same we have nine steps and CFG set to one the sampler name is set to res multi steps and the shader is set to simple so once you click run image is gonna be uh, treated here then a preprocessor is gonna create a depth or the canny image uh, for our z image fun control net after that a prompt is gonna be extracted from the image then transform it using the style selector in order to be encoded here on this clip text encode and it's gonna be our positive prompt that is gonna be uh, used on this key sampler here actually on both key samplers in order to create an image based on control net strength we will obtain different results okay so to test out this model i selected uh, only two images the first one is this house here and the second one is uh, this lady here at the restaurant and i tried different strengths using the control net model in order to find the good strength value the main goal here is to achieve practically the same image as uh, the original one while transforming the style of uh, the control net version and let's uh, first start with the canny as you can see i set string to 0 0.6 until the 0 0.9 and we managed to obtain different results the details are quite changing compared to the original one 
as you can see the window is here and uh, the, the door is also slightly changing but for uh, a value of 0 0.7 until the 0 0.9 we managed to get a good results of course it is not as much accurate as uh, it should be the case for the, the coin image edit or the flux context which allows us to preserve all the image details and the composition but here we managed to obtain acceptable results next i uh, used the depth uh, with the same prompt and the same image and we managed to obtain different results as you can see here the composition and the details of the house are not preserved as much as uh, it is the case for the canny even uh, if we increase the string to 0.9 so if you want to do some style changing make sure to use this canny okay i did the same with this second image here as you can see the canny give us uh, pretty uh, good results even at low strength value the details remain practically the same and even if we uh, try to increase the strength value it did not change uh, the original image details at the exception of some color shift that you can uh, practically observe between the 0 0.9 and the 0 0.6 strength here we have uh, more uh, saturated uh, colors compared to the this one next i jump to the depth control net as you can see i also managed to obtain good results however the composition and the details of uh, this uh, results are not quite good uh, we also have some uh, color uh, saturation that starts with 0 0.7 compared to the canny and it goes even uh, worse at 0 0.9 all those results was obtained using the control net v1 model it is uh, true that it managed to change the style however let's see if this uh, new version can fix those issues well let's start with the canny as you can see the results start to look good from 0 0.7 into the 0 0.9 and we managed to obtain a better results according to my uh, point of view of course the details are well preserved and the quality looks uh, much impressive for the depth control net uh, we did not obtain uh, all the original image details the house is quite changing here at the exception of 0 0.9 which starts to look close to the original image and the same goes for the second example here we have a good results using a zero a strength value of 0 0.7 at 0 0.6 the color uh, starts to change however using a value of 0 0.8 or 9 give us a good results as for the depth it also managed to give us a good results but uh, uh, the details and the expression as you can see here is quite changing so i strongly suggest you to use the canny for style changing it works for both models and a better results can be obtained using this uh, 2.1 version next i jumped uh, to the open pose uh, preprocessors and to do that you need to do some special trick here once you activated this open pose preprocessors make sure to connect it to the set control image then we have this load image over here which need to be different from the original image that we used here so what i basically did is i created the pose using this load image then you need to do some prompting or uh, i should say manual prompting so make sure to remove that okay and click run the first uh, run is gonna allow you to get uh, the first descriptive prompt of uh, your original image here make sure to paste it after that try to change keywords so where it refers to the position or the standing of uh, the, this lady over here in order to obtain a different results so uh, while i was testing i used this uh, portrait image i use different image for example this one for the pose while using the same prompt extracted manually and i managed to get these results here which is uh, pretty close to the uh, pose provided the colors uh, looks re really close to the original image and uh, the details too i also did another test with the, this uh, image as a preprocessor for the open pose and i also managed to get accept this acceptable results so the open pose also works pretty well compared to the ver version one where i was able to change uh, the pose of the image but the consistency and the quality of the image was not quite that good okay now let's jump to the inventing workflow where you can see it is not a complicated one all you have to do here is loading your model as we did earlier i will using directly uh, the 2.1 version load your image that you want to edit here we also have this get image size and mtsd3 latent we are not gonna do any upscaling of the image 
then I am using the same three segmentation in order to create a mask. Of course, you can uh, try to use the same tool. It's going to give you the, practically the same result. I found out that uh, SEM3 has more precision while creating a mask. The mask created is going to be previewed using uh, these notes here. The created mask is going to be directly uploaded here. As for the inpaint image, you're going to use directly this load image. If you try to connect these notes, make sure that the mask is connected here and the load image is connected on this uh, inpaint image. And we have practically the same uh, sampler as we have the model, the model patch, the VAE. Here the image is uh, empty. We don't have any note connect, uh, connected here because we are only uh, focusing on the inpainting. Then the strength is set to 0 0.8. Then we have this differential diffusion model, which is very good at uh, inpainting uh, uh, using uh, any type of model because it's gonna only focuses, for example, here on the hair part and uh, works only on that part. It will help you a lot to get a good results uh, while uh, using some inpainting technique. The simpler parameters are also the same. Of course, you can try to increase the steps if you are not satisfied with the results. It will give you a good uh, results. And make sure that uh, don't go beyond a step value of 13. Of course, if you don't have the same three nodes installed and don't want to bother yourself, you can use the manual paint by just using the right click here and open in mask editor. And here you can create a mask on a lady using this brush. Click save notes and the mask will be set automatically. So it is also a good way if you want to create a mask manually. Of course, uh, to test out this model, I also use different strength value and the results uh, are here. First, I start with this image uh, of this lady. And the first prompt that I used is a woman with the red hair. You also need to set the hair here in order to create the mask. I used the strength value of zero point and it managed to change the hair of the lady uh, without any issues. However, I found out that uh, while creating the image, the inpainting tend to do this grid artifact here while changing the image, which is very bothering to me. The next thing that I did is I test out uh, this model for a dress uh, changing color. Here we have the strength of one. It managed to change the dress, but the color is not a very uh, brightful one. And uh, uh, the details of the dress are lost if you take a closer look here. It is not uh, the same dress. It changed it uh, with the strings. I uh, also observed where I decreased the strength value. The color and the results are uh, practically different. As you can see with this, this strength, we have a more biteful color and the results are uh, also acceptable at the exception of the grid artifact. Then I try to compare this directly using 2.1 version. As you can see, the V2 managed to create this one, this results. However, the 2.1 managed to obtain a better results while working on this dress. However, we still have this uh, grid artifact, which is uh, a very bothering problem with this model. So in conclusion, we must say that this control net offer a good uh, features of doing image to image with the Z image turbo model. It is a very fast model. It allows you to change the composition of the image without losing uh, its identity. Of course, we have different preprocessors that we can use for that. Uh, the open pose also seems to work pretty well compared to the version one. However, the quality of the obtained result is not that much impressive. Maybe they will release uh, another uh, version that fix all those uh, issues. As for the inpainting uh, method, it is true that uh, it is very impressive. However, uh, this uh, grid artifact really limits its usage. So I prefer working with the uh, image editing model instead of using this inpainting uh, control net. If I, for example, want to change or edit uh, an image, since the editing model doesn't uh, create uh, such artifact and uh, preserve the original image while editing uh, the part uh, that I want. So maybe in the future, they will try to fix all those bugs for us. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, please push the like button for me. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me some comments down below. And don't forget to become a Patreon member of my Patreon page where you can get early access to my workflow. Thank you.